Alice looking gorgeous. Ah, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Jamie. This question is actually for both you and Levi. Do you feel like there's any lingering feelings romantically between your characters or is it just at this point, old friends sort of feeling a bit of a flame for a moment and then realizing, you know, <laughs> the mayor's married, but you know, we had a good time at one time. Let's answer at the same time, Levi. Okay. Like on three, okay? Yeah. One, two, two, two three, three. Yes. Ben loves Darcy. Oh boy. Well, Ben thinks Darcy's the world revolves around the one that got away. The one that got away. She's his sun and moon and stars. She. It's like a meatloaf song when in his head whenever she walks by. I've always wondered. I've always wondered what the backstory is. I almost picture you just like riding off on like a motorcycle with like a guy on the back, like you're driving off the motor and just like dumping me, like driving off somewhere. (laughs) Um, yeah, I knew I like, she's I, like, I, I knew like you I knew it would never work out with us. Yeah. <laughs> and you were like, did I know that? <laughs> <laughs> Chris Sheridan, this is another one where we need to be writing this down. Yep. Story ideas. We got him. Oh, believe me, he's taking notes. <laughs> he's got no creativity. <laughs> but I think, I mean, for Ben, I, I feel like, you know, there's such an ease with Darcy, you know, I mean, obviously they grew up together. But just being each other's kind of first, you know, significant relationship, I feel like Ben, you know, at least in the back of his mind is like, God, this feels so easy and so nice. Like, why can't my marriage feel like this? Like, why do I have such a hard time communicating with Kate when it's so easy with Darcy? And, right. You know, we explore that as the season goes on. But I don't know, Dar- uh, Alice, what do you think? I almost called you Darcy. Yeah, it's like, it's hard because, you know, Darcy kind of feels like, I think at the end of season one, that like, of course, Ben's still in love with me. He got married to this like weird lady, but actually he loves me. And I think then for her to feel that that's like, no, that's the thing that I invented about myself because I'm so insecure is like, fuck, that sucks. You know, oh, this person actually just cares about me as a person and he's not interested in sex with me is not a comfortable place for her at all. You know, it means it means she needs to like, <laughs> you know, be a decent person. And that's not, it's not easy for her. So a lot of season two is about her trying to kind of grow up a little bit. And I think the interaction with Ben has helped her do that, even though it's been kind of painful for her, which is why she just doesn't, she like glosses over it immediately and pretends that it's this hilarious bit between the two of them, even though it was actually a really fucked up thing that she did to her friend. Uh, this is for both of you guys. So Darcy, or Darcy, oh my God, um, Alice. When we talked, when we talked last Whatever. year, we <laughs> we um we, we mentioned how you said you didn't want uh, Darcy to find out that Harry was an alien. And for Levi, I feel like he would love it because then he could promote patients a town with ET. Yeah. Uh, so how do you guys, <laughs> you know, how do you guys uh, feel about that? And how do you think your characters would react if they find out? Do you want um, to do for each other? Oh. I think I have an idea of that oh. for you. Yeah, yeah, hit it. I want to I want to hear your idea. Because I think for Ben if he found out that that he would try to cover it up because Ben has this really oh. really regimented specific idea of the kind of town patients should be. You know what I mean? He wants it to be like a Westfield. Ben is like the low key like Rick Caruso of um of patience you know what I mean he's like very controlling he has this idea of how he wants patients to be and this alien thing is not on the docket right yeah. that's like no he doesn't want it to be this cheesy alien town he that's doesn't bring like the right kind of people into wow. patience you know <laughs> and I think so I think Ben would probably freak out about that because he's just so so controlling Another, yeah, I think, wow, that's really yeah. good. God, have you been thinking about this for a while? Because I'm like, <laughs> I'm scrambling to think what Darcy, I don't, I feel like Darcy, I don't know, like she would just be like, great, another drinking buddy. Like, I don't know, I don't know if she'd really be that, uh, I don't know. Have you thought about this for your character? If you, It's if tough you because like, I don't know what Darcy thinks about woo-woo extraterrestrial crap, right. you know, like she doesn't indulge in conspiracy theories she's not like you know um in that world in any way um unlike 
like maybe deputy live or even sheriff mike like she doesn't think about stuff like that but at the same time you know harry is somebody is somebody that's meaningful to darcy if only because he has become her best friend's new best friend and she's really freaked out by that and she really really doesn't trust harry so you know and also darcy is sort of the adventurer right so like in a Spielbergy way, I think Darcy would be the one to get on the bike with ET or whatever. <laughs> you got that tan I, bike. <laughs> yeah. I, I think Darcy would be pissed off that they didn't let her in on the secret, at least at first. And then, and then thinking back about Harry, she'd be like, "Oh, that's why he acts that way." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> whereas whereas Ben nice, would probably be a lot be like, easier for me. Yeah. yeah. Whereas Ben would be like, "God, didn't see that coming. You out of all people, yeah. it's so normal." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Huh. Um, so, um, without giving any spoilers, because we saw the, the next three episodes, um, Alice, uh, do we get to see you skiing more? And do you ski in real life? <laughs> um, <laughs> fuck. Okay. So, I yeah. don't ski. But you but, learned in one day. I learned no in two two. I had two two hour lessons. And then we all went up to Whistler and Levi is an incredibly like accomplished snowboarder. That's it's really funny because like Levi's like a very like neurotic person. Generally, he's always just like, he's not like a graceful, you know? Uh, and so like, <laughs> you know, he's never, you know, he doesn't dance or whatever. So like, then B Levi gets on the hill and suddenly he's like this like mogul, you know, and he's just like staring through and he's just like a completely different person. And you see him, he's like this badass, right? And then he like gets to the end of a run and he just like whips off his goggles. He's like, what's up? And you're like, that is not <laughs> it's like so strange. Um, but I do not know how to ski. Like there is one hill in Minnesota, a single hill that the yeah. Olympic athletes get to train on and they're, they built it. Right. So like, I don't ski at all. And um, so I, I went to Whistler with my boyfriend, who's a really good snowboarder. And he was like, I had a lift ticket. So we just like went up to the top of the hill, like to the mountain. It's a mountain. Like, and we went up and up and up and up. And then like, we kept going up and like, I saw Jeff Bezos's rocket. Like we went past that. It was insane. <laughs> and they're like, oh yeah, there's an easy trail all the way down. And we tried taking it and then like, it was okay for like two seconds. And then all of a sudden there was a sign that was like, welcome to the slingshot, bitch. And it was like, <laughs> it was like straight down. And like a bunch of kids were dead on the side of the thing. And like, I was like, Fuck. so we just like got stuck up there. I had no idea how to ski. My boyfriend, I was at one point, I was literally like a starfish, like spinning on my back down a <laughs> steep hill with my skis on. Um, so I, I don't know, I kind of take life by the horns, but, um, but the skiing scenes that you will see in the second half of season two, it is some, some of them are me on the skis because I, I got really good at stopping, which was the only thing I had to do on camera. Um, so that was exciting. Yeah. Thank you. All right. We're going to end there. Thank you everyone.